It's April 2018, and after a long gray winter, a big stretch of sunshine has just rolled in. So I'm out on a five-day kayak trip up Hau Sound at Katsum to see what the spring ocean's up to. What I quickly find out is that Hausound.Katsum is a really busy place. I poke here and I poke there, watching and listening and marveling at all the spring life all around me. I wake on my fourth morning at a camp in the heart of Hau Sound. I'm savoring my morning coffee when I see them. Three sea lions are just offshore and heading south. A few minutes later, another follows. And the sea lions just keep coming. In half an hour, I count 15. <laughs> That's more sea lions than I've seen in all my 30 years in Howe Sound. What the heck is going on? So I head out in my kayak. This number of sea lions tells me they're feeding on something nearby. My question is, on what? As I paddle, I'm suddenly surprised by a pair of sea lions that overtake me, then disappear into the distance. Then another peers from behind me looks me over and continues on. A few moments later, I round a corner and paddle right into a tight cluster of sea lions rolling around on the surface. They look like they're catching their breath and then, on some cue, they all dive. Two minutes later, they're back on surface, breathing hard. Then, they dive again. So I lower my underwater camera right into a giant school of anchovy that sparkle with their telltale silver dollar flashes. And close by, sea lions are hunting them. For half an hour, I watch the sea lions dive together, then return to surface, and then dive again. A short time later, I come on another sea lion cluster, all rolling at the surface. Then they too all dive together. Again, I lower my camera. <laughs> Another giant school of anchovy. So my question is answered. The sea lions are here feeding on anchovy. And to see these anchovy just thrills me. These big schools mean that How Sound in 2018 again will be busy with seabirds and seals and sea lions and humpback whales that'll all come here to feast. Later, I see a far off whirl of seagulls. Then, a whale spout. As I watch, two sea lions cut across my view. So I head their way. Then I see something very curious. It has the look of a floating tree, but not quite. As I approach, I realize it's a raft of sea lions, flippers in the air. The raft of sea lions is not far offshore. And as I watch, I grasp that more is going on here. Another group of sea lions is surfacing and diving right at the shore. Then I spot the several eagles perched right at the water's edge. I wonder what's up. Then it happens. Tiny silverfish erupt on surface, chased by sea lions. So I lower my underwater camera. As I'd guessed, more anchovy. <laughs> the eagles scramble every time a fish eruption occurs, quick to pounce on an anchovy stranded on the rocks or injured in the water.
BC's south coast is home to two different species of sea lion. These are California sea lions, distinct from stellar sea lions by their smaller size, narrower snouts, and dog-like bark. From my reading, I know that these sea lions are likely all males. California sea lion females and pups, and most males live year-round far to the south along the coasts of California and Mexico. But each autumn, some males head north for the winter to feed in the rich BC waters. Then, in April or May, these males return south for the summer breeding season. And given that it's April now, these sea lions are fueling up on anchovy as they prepare for the long migration south. And what about this curious habit of floating with flippers in the air? I read that it's all about staying warm, that heat loss is 200 times faster in water than in air. The fat layer that insulates their body from the cold water is thin on their flippers, and they hold their flippers out of water then when they rest. Reluctantly, I leave. The sun is down, and I have a good half hour paddle ahead of me to get to camp. Part way back, I hear a blow. A humpback whale gracefully passes me, heading west. <laughs> what a magical end to a remarkable day.